Welcome back, it's either day 104 or 105. I haven't quite decided yet because I'm trying to post two videos today or I'm trying to film two videos today and I don't know which order I'm gonna edit or post them. Probably this one first, so it's probably day 104, but I have no idea. I actually did something a little bit different today. I wrote a script for a video, the other video that I'm trying to make. I wrote a script for it, it's not something I normally do. Here's a real quick sneak peek of what it's looking like. Uh, it's a very like loose script and I kind of just followed it so I could keep track of all the thoughts in my brain and not end up just rambling for seven hours. So it was a really good thing to do, I think. And hopefully it comes out well. Um, you know, I will guess I'll find out when I make the final product. All right, it's time to go. We have a plan. James, do we have a plan? So the plan, at the start of every show in Maho, we all get introduced, including James, the bartender, he gets introduced, and he sometimes isn't making drinks, he wants something to do. That's right, eh? Yeah. Yeah, so he wants something magical to do when he gets introduced. So, that's the plan, let's go, I'll fill you in as we go. Thank you. <laughs> Someone to hold the doors for me. The plan is to make James a magical effect and we need to go get the supplies for it and then hopefully make it at Maho before the show starts, but we got heaps of time. It's only two shows tonight. The bike's open. I think it opened before. Is that any tighter? No. no. All right, we'll just see if it pops open and I die again or something. We need three things and it's not going to make it any more clear as to what we're making. Fishing line, a fishing hook, and a sinker. Well, I thought this was a mirror for a second. Fishing rods. Um, the problem is we want like a three-pronged hook or something, I think. Is the line. So hopefully they have, yeah, so they've got big hooks. Yeah, ideally we want one of like one of these hooks that's hanging on one of these lures. So we can always buy one of these and rip it off. I think we've got all the supplies. Now we just need to head to Maho and make it. Still don't know what it is. Surprise. <laughs> All right, James was concerned about my bike and the flimsy bike lock, so let's see if it got stolen in the five minutes we were inside. Moment of truth. Oh, it's still there, wow. Made it to my home magic bar. Now it is time for some DIY. DIY magic. You need nails or screws and apparently it's all under here. Even though we're gonna finish it in this video, put your comments right now what you think we're making before you skip ahead. Hold the shaker. So currently we're having trouble trying to put a hole in a cocktail shaker. We will get there eventually. DIY. We have all the tools. We actually don't, we don't even know where a hammer is. We have acquired a drill bit. These cocktail shakers seem incredibly impenetrable. All right, we've got a tiny hole in here. 
and uh, now we need to make the whole burger. Okay, so my camera's died incredibly annoyingly, but now let's make it James. Do you have it? Yes. So we did eventually get it in. That took way too long. How long? Like half an hour? So if you still haven't guessed what we're making, we have fishing line, fishing hooks, sinkers, and this cocktail shaker with a screw through it. Yeah, okay, so now we need to thread this through here so the hook is just gonna sit. You still have no idea, well, you're gonna find out if this works or not. All right, that does go in, cool. Then this goes on, and then this. Uh, the string might be too long, but boom. And then, Sorry. that string is visible as, right? <laughs> yeah, we've spent way too long making this. And that string's visible, right? Yeah. So, and then ideally, Yeah, that look, I can't see the string from here. And then if you pour liquid down it, yeah. hopefully it'll look better. So annoyingly, my camera died. I don't have my power bank with me to charge it. And I don't have a spare battery. So it's phone for the rest of the night. But we managed to do what James wanted. We made a floating cocktail shaker. That was the entire plan. Um, he's not going to use it tonight because it's not fully fleshed out. So we need to make a few improvements to it before it's good to go. So my camera died and then I forgot to film anything for the show with my action camera. I was trying to film my card set just for something a little bit different and uh, put my camera you know, on the other bars where I'm not usually doing my cups and boards because I have two set bars where I do my chop cup and then the other ones I do my card routine. And I went and put my camera over there in preparation so I would remember to turn it on when I got to that bar and I completely forgot. So that's my fault. And that camera, my action camera is still at the bar because I even forgot to just pick it up at the end of the night. So. That is a little bit unfortunate, but we did successfully uh, kind of make a uh, floating cocktail shaker. That was the entire uh, DIY project that we were trying to make for James, and hopefully he can use it in the show. We've got a few adjustments to make and a few things to tweak so it works a little bit better. But once you start pouring liquid down it, uh, that string should be hidden pretty well. And from the back of the room, it, you can't see it anyway. So pretty happy with it. Hopefully it'll be used in the next few shows, but we still need to do a magic trick. This trick uses three poker chips, two hands in my brain, which might be an incredibly stupid idea as I am incredibly tired, but we're gonna try it anyway. All you need to do is line all three chips up in the left hand here and watch close as you shake and one of them teleports from the left hand to the right hand. Of course, that might be confusing because three of them were here a moment ago, so to make it as fair as possible, all you need to do is watch both chips in this hand, the one chip in this hand, and not blink. That's all the instructions you need is you can actually just get them to jump. One chip here now and two chips over here. The real aim of the game though, however, is to get all three chips to the right hand. However, placing it like that's not very impressive, so we'll do it a little bit magically. All you've got to do is give this one a fancy spin in the fingertips, and then the magic happens directly in front of your eyes, because now I've got one, two, three chips in the right hand, and those are all the chips for day 104. Done.